Hi everyone. In this video, we will study about planing machine parts. So, a standard or double housing planer consists of a bed, then a table, tool head, cross rail, then column or housing or upright. So these are the main parts of a double housing planing machine. So here we can see the bed. So this is the bed. Then on the top of the bed we have a table and on the sides of the bed we have two columns or housings. So this is the first column and this is the second column. Two housings or columns or upright. And the top of the column is being supported by a cast iron member for rigidity. Then the front face of the column we have a smooth front face and that face is housed with the cross rail. So the cross rail can be moved up and down or vertically through the face of this column. And we have tool heads connected to the cross rail as well as on the housings. So in case of a planer, the table will be reciprocating through the guideways on the bed. The table will be reciprocating. So first we can study about bed. So the bed of a planer is a box like casting and it is very large in size and is heavy and it supports the column and all other moving parts of the machine and this bed is made slightly longer than twice the length of the table so that the full length of the table may be moved on it and the bed is being provided with precision weights over the entire length on its top surface so that the table can slide on it and in a standard machine we have two V type guideways two V type guideways and the guide weights must be horizontal, true and parallel to each other. And the hollow space within the box like structure of the bed houses the driving mechanism for the table. So this is all about the bed of a planar machine. Now the second one is the table. So the table supports the work and it reciprocates along the guideways on the bed and the planar table is very heavy and it is a rectangular casting usually made up of casting and the top face of the planar table is accurately finished in order to locate the work correctly and the table is being provided with these slots so that the work and work holding devices may be bolted upon it. And at each end of the table, a hollow space is left which acts as a trough for collecting the chips. And the table, in case of a standard planer, we have only one table but in a divided table planner there are two separate tables mounted upon the bed guideways and the table may be reciprocated individually or together. So this is about the table of a planner machine. So next part is the housing or column or upright. So here we have two housings. Then these housings are placed on each side of the bed 
and they are heavily ripped to trace up severe forces due to cutting and the front face of each housing is accurately machined to provide precision weights for the movement of the cross rail so the cross rail can be moved vertically through this guide then also we have two side tool heads so this is the first tool head and this is the second tool head also slide up on this guide rail and the housing encloses the cross rail elevating screw vertical and cross feed screw for the tool heads so this is all about housing now the next part is cross rail so cross rail is a rigid box like casting connecting the two housings and this construction ensures rigidity to the machine and cross rail can be lowered or raised on the face of the housing and it can be clamped at any convenient position and when the cross rail is being clamped we have to make sure that it remained absolutely parallel to the top surface of the table so this is necessary to generate a flat horizontal surface on the workpiece and the two elevating screw the two elevating screw on the housing are rotated by an equal amount to keep the cross rail in horizontal position next one is tool head so the tool head of a planer is similar to that of a shaper both in operation and construction and the tool head have saddle so here we have saddle then swivel base swivel base then vertical slide apron clapper box then tool post down feed screw etc so the tool heads are mounted on the cross rail by a saddle and the saddle may be made to move transversely on the cross rail to give the cross feed and the swivel base is pivoted on the saddle and is graduated on each side to 60 degree and the swivel base may be swiveled to any desired angle and the down feed screw is rotated to feed the tool at that angle for machining angular surface so in a double housing planer machine usually the cross rail will have two tool heads okay so this is all about main parts of a planer machine thank you